Inter Milan last won a Serie A trophy back in 2021. And last season, they managed to get all the way to the Champions League final before sadly losing in a 1-0 defeat to Manchester City. They've lost star goalkeeper Andre Onana. They decided not to go ahead with a purchase of Romelu Lukaku. The squad is ageing. A lot of players now reaching the age of 30 or above. And they are looking to bring in some youthful talent. In the AC Milan rebuild, we won 12 cups. But the question is, how many can we win with Inter Milan in the next five years? Milan Skriniar has also left Inter Milan to head to PSG and he is going to be certainly a very difficult player to replace. Fantastic defensive attributes and is an all-round absolute leader in this Inter Milan side. Roberto Gagliardini has also left the club to head to Brianza. Again, reaching that 30 years old. A lot of experience after being at Inter for six plus years. Marcel Brozovic has left to go to Saudi Arabia as well as many other players have. He's gone to Al Nasir to play with Cristiano Ronaldo. Edin Dzeko has left to go to Fenerbahce, so not signing Lukaku, not signing, well, not re-signing Edin Dzeko, and also I mentioned at the start, Andre Onana leaving to head to Manchester United, this Inter Milan side is in dire need of a rebuild I've tried to be as realistic as possible with this first season of signings, and hopefully today you'll agree we have done that. Number one is going to be Jan Sommer, heavily linked in real life to join from FC Bayern Munich the 35 year old is a very experienced goalkeeper and is certainly going to be able to help replace the massive hole of Andre Nana leaving to go to Manchester United. He's got some fantastic stats, great composure, kicking one-on-ones. Managed to bring him in for just 9.5 million after having a year in Germany. He is certainly going to be a, you know, a very good uh, sort of replacement for Onana and we couldn't afford to get in Andre Trubin, who they've been heavily linked to this season. He'll be coming up in the future. So we brought in Stefan Ortega on loan from Manchester City for the season. Again, a very good goalkeeper at building out from the back, exactly like Andre Onana. Some fantastic reflexes, shot stopping, etc. And as a loan fee for just £1.3 million, pounds, I thought it made fantastic sense to bring in Ortega rather than trying to spend big on Trubin when realistically we didn't have the money to go out and do that because we we're going to sign Florian Balogun. And now again, heavily linked in real life to sign for Inter Milan to be that striker alongside Lautaro Martinez. They've also got Marcus Taram and hopefully Florian Balogun can be a massive part of this Inter Milan side over the next five years. A fantastic season last season at Stade de Reims in real life scoring I believe 20 plus goals in the league early. He's got some fantastic pace, some fantastic finishing off the ball work is brilliant, moves into the channels and it's going to work really well as a pair with Lautaro Martinez. And the last one I went ahead and made is Salvatore Esposito. Now he is not a sign I've seen linked too much in real life, but the DM looked like a position certainly need improving. Uh, we brought him in for just, I believe, £5 million from Spezia. He's got some fantastic determination, some great natural finish, some decent pace, some great defensive attributes as well. And it's certainly going to be a mainstay in this side. Alongside in real life starting Christian Alassani, who's been brought in from Empoli. This was made before I got here. Looks like a very talented midfielder indeed. Albanian, some fantastic stamina. I imagine it's going to be a really good sort of backup and rotation option with Nico Barella. Uh, in terms of other signings, they've signed Jan Orel Bisa who is a young centre-half. Sadly, on FM, he does not quite have the potential I believe he has in real life. But again, another decent backup centre-back and is hopefully going to go some way to help the loss of uh, Milan Skriniar. In terms of the actual tactic we're using today, it is going to be Inzaghi's 3-5-2. The best team we've got that we can put out there is Sommer in goal, De Vrij, Acherby and Bastoni as the back three. Denzel Dumfries as the right wing back, DiMarco as the left wing back and the midfield three of Alessani, Barella and Hakan Celanolu with Florian Balogun and Lautaro Martinez up front. The backup is still very good with Ortega, Damian, Evander Husen, Bisek, uh, Valentin Lazaro, uh, Esposito, Gusen, Sensi, Mikatarian, uh, Taram, and Joaquin Carrera. But like I mentioned in the intro, this squad is an aging squad and it is a bit of a problem here at uh, Inter Milan where we look at the ages of the team, eight players over the age of 30, no one in this side under the age of 22. And before the signings we have made, it was only Van der Hoosen who was under the age of 25. So realistically, this is a very aging squad here at Inter Milan. We need to bring through some absolute talent. The under 20s and the under 18s is not filled with fantastic uh, potential. Valentin Carboni is a fantastic player, but whether he actually ever makes it into being something is a different story. And the under 18s, again, 
nothing really there in terms of fantastic potential. The club info screen shows we've got 18 in youth facilities, 19 in youth improvements. So hopefully over the next five years, we can improve this into Milan youth system to hopefully being one of the biggest and the best in the world. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Season number one, how many trophies can we win? Like I did mention, 12 in the uh, five-year rebuild of AC Milan. Can we better that with the blue side of Milan? A 3-0 victory in the Italian Cup final got us under a fantastic start for this season. Celanoglu with the first goal and a penalty. Celanoglu and DeMarco working well on the left-hand side before finding Nico Barella in the box. And the third goal is going to come from Marcos Taram. A corner ball whipped in by Hakan Celanoglu and Taram is going to bully the ball into the back of the net in a dominant performance here against Atalanta in the Italian Cup final. How did things go for the rest of the trophies? Well, the Champions League, we managed to get knocked out in the round of 16 by new up-and-comers, new Castle losing 8 0 on aggregate. So clearly, we got absolutely battered about the park in that one. And in the Serie A itself, we didn't manage to win the league. We come in third while AC Milan won the league. So that is a very frustrating thing to see and something we cannot let slide. Joaquin Carrera this season was fantastic. He scored 30 goals, had an average rating of 7.57. And I mean, also got five assists in 39 appearances across the whole season, 39 goals. This guy was a man possessed and was not someone I was going to be expecting to completely take over the front line. I think it probably shows that Florian Balogun maybe didn't have the greatest of first seasons with just seven starts, 17 off the bench and seven goals. It'll be interesting to see what we can get out of Balogun going forward and whether he sticks around. He is the cover star of this rebuild. He is heavily linked in real life and I would certainly like to progress Balogun to being a top, top player. Lautaro Martinez as well, only 19 goals and seven assists after such a fantastic record in real life. I mean, overall, including this season, 73 goals in 161 games. It'll be a real shame for Lautaro Martinez to not be an absolute dominant performance over these next five years. And in fact, when we look through the whole squad as a whole, the best player was Joaquin Carrera. Lautaro Martinez was second. Marcus Taram scored 20 goals and got five assists. So the two backup strikers certainly did better than the two starting ones. Uh, Ortega in the six games he played was great. Dumfries with 12 assists is fantastic at right back. And DeMarco with 17 at left wing back. Also equally impressive and very happy with them too. Uh, with Hakan Chalano in centre mid with 22 assists and five goals. Now, he is an absolute whiz kid in midfield. He's 31 years of age, so he's not going to be around for too long, but his playmaking abilities are fantastic and are certainly going to be incredibly hard to try and replace. As we look at the data hub, we were massively above the sort of average on goals per game and uh, above average as well in conceded per game. We conceded less than sort of everyone else in the league, which is fantastic. But sadly, it didn't amount to results. We scored the most goals on 81 and conceded only three more than Milan, who ended up winning the league. Possession-wise, the 3-5-2 is not set to keep the ball. If you have not seen this tactic, the video was the other day. And Inzaghi recreation of the 23-24 season. So feel free to head over and see an in-depth tactic breakdown of that one. This season, we're going to have to do much better in terms of signings. Luckily, we've got £117 million to go ahead and spend, which should hopefully help us actually bring in some players of some real quality. And luckily as well, I mentioned how good the youth system was. We've now got four players of five-star potential, one at four and a half-star potential from this uh, up-and-coming um, youth recruitment come through. Abraham Sadiq is a young goalkeeper who hopefully is going to progress into the first team. Tomas Regba is a left-back. We've got Sebastiano Getty, who is a fantastic DM with great bravery and determination. So again, we'll see what he can do, uh, as well as Fernando Iannone, who is a potential midfielder with a fantastic first touch and determination. Could he potentially be the Hakan Chalanoli regen? You'll have to wait and see if he breaks his way into the starting lineup. Season two, let's go ahead and make some sign-ins, spend this £117 million in cash and hopefully progress this team to be back like they were in the late noughties. Well, I mentioned he would be coming in. Anthony Trubin, heavily linked in real life to come here to Inter Milan. Sadly, couldn't get him in in the first season due to finances, but with our £117 million, I had to bring in Trubin to come in and be the backup slash rotation with Jan Sommer. Some fantastic area reach positioning. He's decent at playing out from the back and is a fantastic goalkeeper as well with incredibly uh, consistency and also very good in big matches. It's great to see him come into the side for 32 0.5 million, si uh, 
five pounds. He considered just eight goals in 19 games last season at Shakhtar. So if he could do something like that here, that would be absolutely fantastic. I guess he'd have a lot more competition. And to be honest, in terms of competition, he wants to improve our output up front. With Balogun not having the greatest first season, same as Latara Martinez, Benjamin Sesko has come in here at Inter Milan for £73 million after a very impressive first season at RB Leipzig with 14 goals and 4 assists in 28 games. We triggered our release clause to big bring the big Slovenian here to Milan. And I think this is actually a quite a realistic and a very, very good signing. I can see, you know, Inter Milan trying to go along with Balogun next season if it doesn't work out spending big cash on a striker like Sesco is certainly going to be an option with a 16 finishing 16 off the ball some great acceleration and jump and reach decent on the ball as well we know how good this guy in real life is he's got some fantastic potential and hopefully he can bring that to Milan as well another player they are linked with in real life is Emil Holm from Spezia a backup right back has been brought in whereas Valentin Lozano has left the club on a free contract decent enough backup just 25 years of age and again is sort of the right profile we're looking for. Extremely consistent, quick, uh, very good on the ball, and can certainly crop the ball in as well. As a backup to Denzel Dumfries, that was sort of key to bring in. And Aitor Cardoba is a sign up in a free transfer. He was released from Burgos in Spain. And to be honest, we completely ran out of money after spending 115 million. This was the best guy we could bring in, a 30-year-old Spanish backup. And to be honest, it's because we didn't really sell anyone. Uh, Enoch Ousu went to Udinese for 325k, Lazaro list for £2 million. And other than that, it was very quiet in terms of outgoings. Meaning the squad looks extremely similar to what it looked like previous with Sesco and Martinez now up front together with Hakan Telenolu, Barella and Esposito as a starting midfield. DeMarco and Dumfries as the wingbacks. De Vrij getting on. Acherbi certainly getting on. And Bastoni at left centre back with Sommer in goal. We are really at an ageing point where players are going to start to fall off. I mean, Acherbi, to mention him, is now 37 years of age, just 9 acceleration and 10 pace. He's a fantastic defender, but we're going to have to replace him very soon. And I'm worried that this season could come back to bite us. And Stefan de Vrij, at 33 years of age, could also lose all of his pace very, very quickly. So defence is certainly a place that needs upgrading. You'll have to wait and see who you bring in for that one next season because there is going to be some big upgrades in defence. Hopefully season two, we'll have a much better year. We've got the Italian Super Cup, Italian Cup, Champions League and Serie A to go ahead and win. Let's go and win the quadruple for season number two. We managed to get all the way to the semi-finals in the Champions League before being knocked out by another English club in Liverpool. It was an all-English final with Arsenal versus Liverpool when Arsenal ran out 3-2 winners. So sadly, we haven't ticked this one off yet. Italian Cup, we won it last season. Not this season. Again, it was AC Milan proving a little bit more difficult this time around to, you know, win all the trophies as it was in the AC Milan reboot. And again, I think that's because of the aging side. It's going to have to take some work, whereas the AC Milan team is set up very nicely for that. Um, but, you know, the Italian Super Cup, how did we do? Well, we lost 3-2 to AC Milan. And they're proving to be a fawn in our side. That is for absolute certain. After winning the league in the first season as well, did they manage to go back to back? Did we even manage to win a single trophy this season? No. We did it. We come third again. Definitely an improvement on 81 points, but Napoli winning it this season on 85, meaning it's now been a four-year spell since we have lifted that beautiful Serie A trophy and something we certainly need to go ahead and do. Benjamin Sesco had a very good season this season with 37 goals and 11 assists in 48 games and really did prove that he was the right man to come in here at Inter Milan. Certainly very happy with that signing of him. Uh, Florian Balogun certainly stepped up as well in this second season with 22 goals in 27 starts. And again, really happy with how that has progressed. Uh, I was worried he wasn't going to be anything, but this season he has certainly showed he could be a valued member of this Inter Milan team. And with Lautaro Martinez also scoring 22 goals, meaning our front three of Martinez, Balogun and uh, Benjamin Sesko certainly getting all of the goals in the squad. Interesting to see that after last season's complete and utter domination, Joaquin Carrera scored one goal and one assist and didn't start a single game. So, very odd season from him last year and interesting to see an absolute fall off this year. A one season wonder, I think is that what you call that. Uh, Marcus Durant only with four goals as well in just five starts. Again, not a fantastic season from him. Uh, Stefano Sensi doing quite well off the bench. 22 assists again coming from Hakan Chalanolu. 13 from Dumfries, 9 from DeMarco. 
Certainly need to do some improvements in the back line as well because Acherby is now retiring after a 55-game season. Um, Stefan de Vrij is leaving to final on a free contract. And Jan Sommer is now 37 years of age. So we need to improve this back line. Let's go ahead, spend some big money on improving this defence. We've got a grand total of £106 million to go ahead and do it. Umar Saleh has come in to replace Stefan de Vrij at the back line. A 53 to £66 million value already valued. Well, we paid £42 million for him. A fantastic centre-half. Just 26 years of age. Just some very good seasons in France at OGC Nice after moving from RB Salzburg. Some great pace. Great on the ball. Some great defensive attributes. And again, extremely consistent. Very good signing to get him in. And he's not the only defensive signing we had to make as well. As you guys do know, it wasn't just De Vrij that left. It was also Francesco Acerbi. So Flavius Staniliuc has come in. He's an Austrian centre-half from RB Salzburg. Fantastic club at developing players. And Dan Lutch with a four-star current ability already signed for just £10 million was an absolute no-brainer. After some previous experience in Italy, hopefully this guy can be a standout in our back line. Absolute bargain. And again, extremely consistent. It's something that I do like to sign in my players. And the last signing is another centre-back of Andre Amaro. And again, a very talented young Portuguese man. 23 years of age after having seven years over at Vitoria in Portugal. Has come in to the club as well of a backup and rotation option. Uh, but just 23 years of age, already a cap for Portugal. Aggressive, some great concentration, good on the ball. And just £9 million is so what we spent on Andre Amaro. And a central midfielder signing as well to come in and uh, replace Joaquin Carrera, who's left the club as he dipped out after a poor season last season. Chelanolu getting on to now 32 years of age. Erkun Kokuchu has joined the club from Benfica, who he's just moved to in real life after two decent seasons over there, scoring 14 goals in 52 games. He brought in Kokuchu for £32.5 million and a very good playmaking midfield. And I think it's a very realistic sort of replacement for Hakan Chalanolu. It might be because they're both Turkish and that's where my brain's gone, but it seems like something that could happen in real life. An extremely consistent player, loves a big match and we know how good this guy is. And obviously with the midfield we've got, gets forward never possible and shoots from distance is going to be quite helpful because it often works out as being the two strikers that are a little bit isolated. So having a midfielder that has the legs to go up and help out there is going to be absolutely pivotal. And a free signing as well, an absolute wonder kid in Andre Jensen has come in, 17 years of old. Dutch international doesn't like big well extremely inconsistent but hopefully we can uh, get that out of him because with five star potential and a value of 12 to 90 million hopefully he can come in and be an absolute demon in the future uh, Wacken Carrera leaving for 5.5 million to Roma Satriano leaving to Atalanta De Vrij leaving to Final and Maggio and Caligulius also leaving uh, mentioning in the uh, Wonder Kids we do have now a few players coming up through the academy of five star potential which is very very good to see it's no longer just a pit of very mediocre players and the squad again is looking extremely strong and I think we've made some very good upgrades to the team. Trubin is now the starting goalkeeper over Jan Sommer. Sole, Deniliuc and Bastoni is the back line. Already that is a much younger, much faster and much more progressive defence. Dumfries is the right wing back. DeMarco is the left wing back. Esposito, Barella, Kakuchu with Martinez and Shesko up top with the back uh, the backups of Jan Sommer, Amaro, Cordoba and Bisek. Holm is the right back uh, backup. Alessani is the DM backup. Goosens is the left wing back. Sensi and Chalanoli with Taram and Balogun. I'm expecting a much better season this season. I'm expecting to win some trophies. The Champions League, Italian Cup, Serie A. Let's go and win two out of the three. That would be absolutely fantastic. But the season is just about to get started. Well, on the final day of the season, we needed to try and get a result against Fiorentina to end up winning the league. And in the 93rd and 96th minute, they scored two goals to make this game 4 all. Luckily, with the draw, we still managed to win the league on 83 points. Three points ahead of AC Milan, who did end up beating Atalanta. And I genuinely thought at some point we could have bottled that. But luckily, winning the league is something we finally ticked off and bringing it home to the blue side of Milan for the first time in five years is a very, very big achievement. Sesco, 24 goals, a 7.71 average rate. And DeMarco back up there with assists as well on 14 assists is very, very impressive. Champions League... We didn't win it again. We were round of 16 by last season's winners, Arsenal. So a bit gutted we still haven't won that one. And the Italian Cup, we got to the final again, losing 3-1 this time to Napoli. But still not winning as many trophies as I would like. Just a one trophy this season in the Serie A. We're going to have to go quite some way to win more than AC Milan. It's going to be certainly difficult 
and I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do it with the season we've got left. I don't even think it's mathematically possible. And I genuinely think this is a much tougher rebuild than the AC Milan rebuild. Uh, True bidding goal, only played seven games. So next season, he's going to be locked in to that goalkeeping position. Now, Toro Martinez with 36 goals and 16 assists. Sesco with 35 and 11. Marcus Turan with 14 goals off the bench as well. Good to see him still knocking about and still scoring some goals. And Badigan with 12 and 5 and 13 starts and 13 off the bench. Certainly happy with that. He's 25 years of age now. Uh, still got a great pace, great finishing, and is certainly developing into a very, very good footballer. Erkan Kukuchu with six goals and five assists, but a very good season with Hakan Chalanolu with 17 assists in that midfield role in nearly half the games. Both of them about a 7.05 average rating, so both obviously rotating very well with each other. It's great to see. Barella just starting four, uh, 30 games with four goals and three assists. DeMarco, we saw right at the top of the assist with 19. He is an absolute madman on this year's game and is actually fantastic. Someone who I've not used a lot, but with 17 crossing, 16 corners, some great pace, some great teamwork and work rate. Certainly someone to pick up on your saves as a left back. And Denzel Dumfries with 12 assists as well. Everything I said about DeMarco is the same for him. He's absolutely fantastic. And I'm a huge fan of Denzel Dumfries. The back line, Daniliuch with a 6.83. Soleil with a 6.93. And um, wherever he is with the big head, Alessandro Bastoni on a 6.93. Certainly a better season this season in offensively. And in the data hub, you can see that as well. Considering just 0.71 goals per game. Because scoring... 2.18 so certainly some improvements this season we're getting now to being a much better squad and one of the things i mentioned at the start was the age profile of the squad we were looking like a very top heavy in terms of older players don't get me wrong we still have now sort of six or seven players there but we are certainly now at the age of sort of 26 to 24 is the bulk of the team so very happy to get that sorted season four is going to be a season again we could hopefully go ahead and win some trophies 100 million pounds spend again is also very nice. So let's go and have some more fun in the transfer market. Well, it wouldn't be an Inter Milan rebuild without bringing in a superstar Brazilian, 18 years of age. It's Schumacher. I know. I had to sign him. He's got some fantastic paces. Finishing needs some work. About 18 years of age. I really think this guy could come in and be the next Adriano, the next R9. Who knows? But we've brought in a young Brazilian, and how fun is that? From Cruzeiro, a very talented young man indeed, just 18 years of age. We've brought in a striker because Marcus Taram got a little bit angry. It's game time, it's left to go to Atalanta. So good luck to him. Very good servant in the last three years. 30 goals in 85 games. Happy to see him progressing very nicely. Another young midfielder brought in is Iliax Moriba. Uh, he's come in as a backup central midfielder. Very talented player, very good Playmaker and box-to-box, -box, very consistent, loves a big match. Just 24 years of age and again, fantastic signing for just 13 0.5 million pounds. A very, very good signing to get him in. Uh, Martin Zubmendi has come in as a starting DM and is certainly going to improve the quality in that defensive midfielder role ahead of Alassani or at Sebastian Esposito. This guy has been over at Arsenal for a season. Lots of experience in Spain with Real Sociedad and is now here in Milan. Extremely consistent. Loves a big match. Very good at passing. Teamwork. Very good defensively. Quick and is just under six foot as well. So adds a little bit of height into the midfield. A brand new goalkeeper as well as Trubin hasn't been getting his chances. Diego Costa has been brought in and is a fantastic goalkeeper. And you wouldn't believe for you if I said I paid 26 point, well, 25.5 million pounds for him just a few seasons into the future. He hasn't moved to a big club yet, so I thought, why not snap him up? After 40 appearances in Portugal, he's clearly a very good player and, you know, is a massive improvement on the goalkeeping position. If we just look at Trubin, he absolutely smashes him in every single department. And uh, Jan Sommer has also left the club on a free contract. So needed another goalkeeper. And why not go out and get a superb number one? Backup left wing back in Tom Roffey at 22 years of age has been brought in. He's a youngster at Borussia Dortmund in real life. So it's just and see that he's progressed quite nicely indeed. And Asan Rodrigo has also been brought in in the midfield as well. 21 years of age, fantastically talented player from Schalke. Adds a lot of height into the team as well. And for just £32.5 million, is hopefully going to be a massive addition to the side. And again, I've been mentioning bringing in some youth. We're now slowly getting rid of it. 30 and above, just three players. And that is Nico Barella, Denzel Dumfries, and then backup Ito Cordoba. So two absolute stone starters and one backup. So happy with that. Now getting in some fantastic youth. Abraham Sadiq is the backup goalkeeper.
for now is looking very, very good as uh, Trubin is looking to leave the club on loan. He is enlisted and uh, is looking to leave. So he will be leaving the club. Uh, Schumacher is the backup striker. Rodrigo as well. And if we go to the squad and the tactics, you can now see Martinez and Sesco, Kikuchu, Barella and Zubimendi, Dumfries, DeMarco, Daniliuc, Sole, Bastoni and Costa. But the backups is now where the youth comes in. Sadiq, Amaro, Cordoba, Bissek, Holm, Esposito, Rafi, Rodrigo, Mariba, Schumacher and Balogun is still about. So very happy with how we progressed in this summer. I think we've made some massive strides and we can hopefully lift the Champions League trophy. I'd like to win a treble at some point in this rebuild. So let's see if season four can be that season. Fiorentina have pipped us to the post in the Serie A this season by two points. We finished on 80 and Fiorentina are kind of absolutely nowhere and won the league. Under Luciano Spalletti, captain of Belenkovic, they've still got pretty much this, a very similar team to what they have in real life, including Sofian Amrabat, Guata, Belenkovic, Dodo. They've got they've won the league with Kepa in goal. So Spalletti has worked absolute wonders here at Fiorentina and they've gone on and won the league and pipped us to it by two points. I think this season, again, we were very, very good. Ben Sesco scoring lots and lots of goals on 27. Looking at the squad overall in terms of goals, it wasn't just him. It was 34 for Martinez, 15 for Balogun. Maybe not enough elsewhere. Dropped down to six with Barella with 14 assists, 13 from Dumfries and the left back of uh, DeMarco with 23 assists. So, I'm not sure what's really gone on this season. The midfield hasn't scored enough goals. There's not really a knot going on uh, there. But defensively, again, extremely solid. Now down to 0.61 conceded per game. Just not scoring enough goals outside of the front two, which is a little bit of an issue. Is the Serie A, do we win anything else? We won the Italian Super Cup. I guess that's ticked off, but certainly not as good of a rebuild here as it was with AC Milan. We absolutely smashed it with AC Milan. Inter Milan has been a real struggle to the point where it's the first time we've won the Super Cup and it was a hat-trick by Lautaro Martinez. Champions League were quarter-finaled by Arsenal and the Italian Cup were third-rounded by Lazio. I think it's the first time we haven't got to the final, which is extremely, extremely frustrating. Season 4 has been very annoying. You know, the squad was certainly, again, like I said, I'm happy with what we've done in terms of bringing in young players that are certainly much better than sort of the older generation. We've certainly sort of developed the club into a much better position. But in terms of results, I mean, just two games all season for Drago, three for uh, Mariba, two starts for Schumacher, 13 for Balogun. Maybe we're just not rotating enough. And again, it's difficult when you do the holiday sims. Maybe the assistant manager doesn't quite rotate as much as you would like. We've got another you know, outstanding £107 million to go and spend. So I guess we have to spend that. And maybe with a treble in Season 5, stick around and find out if that's what we can do. Well, it is Last Chance Saloon. Season 5 is the last one in the rebuild. I just want to say a massive thank you to the Patreons on screen as well. You guys are obviously have access to this rebuild file and you are literally making my dreams come true of creating content every single day. So a massive thank you to you. If you do want to join the Patreon, that link is down in the description, top of the description. You get this uh, rebuild file with Inter Milan. You get every reward file we do so make sure to head down there obviously like the video and subscribe as well but if you do want these reward files that they are down below the first signing i brought into the club is tino livermento to replace denzel dumfries who's now sort of 32 33 years of age extremely good on the ball great pace shouldn't be consistent and loves a big match is classic me uh, and has been doing fantastic in england with you know 30 plus 40 plus appearances in the championship moving to west ham with 35 plus appearances and now moving here to inter milan he's had a pretty much over seven rating all his career and we know how good this guy is in real life and i think it's a very very good signing to get in the door malik tour has been brought in now i know this guy is an ac milan player in real life but in this rebuild he left there to go to Werder Bremen very quickly then moved to Bayer Leverkusen has been fantastic in Germany and for 27 million pounds he looks absolutely outrageous some great jump and reach natural fitness pace extremely consistent and loves a big match uh, which is a, a bit of a meme at this point surely and they're really worth 40 to 50 million pounds and is a very very good player and very happy to get him in. and then the last signing is Cesar Casadi started into Milan in his youth career moved to Chelsea in real life and in his career on FM this time around Things have gone a little bit weird. He's been on loan at Applewell in Cyprus. He's had a couple of seasons now at Watford in the Premier League. We've brought him back to Inter for £35 million. Hopefully, it's going to be very, very good for us. He's very, very good uh, on the attack. The centre midfielder on attack is his best position. 16 long shots, 17 anticipation. Great jump and reach, great vision, great off the ball work, great passing. Dictates the tempo, gets forward, moves into the channel, 
Tavares tries first time shots and maybe can help us with scoring goals from the midfield as well as just the front two. And guess what? He's extremely consistent and loves a big match. And the squad is looking very, very good. I'm very happy with sort of how the squad looks. I would hope the results pick up for this season as well. So let's get into it. Season number five. The end of it can win the treble in the last season into Milan. Let's hopefully do it now. Well, I actually get to show you guys some highlights. It's an Italian Cup final. We got one up on AC Milan, a 4-1 victory. And good to see actually some gameplay. We've not had much chance to show you because we've not been fantastic in this rebuild. But it's great to show you some goals. Dumfries down the right-hand side was an absolute terror for that second goal. And gets Ben Sesco in the six-yard box for another one. Going to call out to a corner here for AC Milan. It's going to be a ball in from Paul Vanna to loft this cheek to make it 3-1. But the fourth goal is going to come again. Balogun to Sesco. He's going to find Dumfries back in that spot. He's going to find an on-Russian run from Zubamendi. He's going to knock it in at 4-4-1. An absolute dominant game. Certainly deserved to win this one. And got one over the red side of Milan finally. Which is amazing because it's not something we're about to say too much. The Serie A trophy do manage to win that one. We brought two home in five years and we finished it off here as well. 26 goals for Ben Sesco. 7.69 average rating. And overall, 100 goals in 130 games for Ben Sesco. And if you've not managed to use this guy in real life in real life on FM use him because he's fantastic and he really is an absolute goal machine he can certainly rival Erlen Haaland I mean the other guy as well who's been playing up front for us Lotaro Martinez 32 goals and four assists is an Inter Milan legend at this point 150 goals and 280 games extremely consistent and loves a big match and he's just absolutely fantastic isn't he I mean he literally is everything that I think of when I think of Inter Milan at the moment is Lautaro Martinez data hub wise extremely again happy with this considering just 0 0.53 that is pretty much half from the start of the season goals per game I would like that have to gone up rather than gone down but when you're playing in a basically a five-back system, it's quite difficult to get that one. The Champions League, did we win the treble this season? That would have been absolutely fantastic if we did. Well, in the semi-finals, we lost 4 to an aggregate to AC Milan. And I can't help but tell you guys that in the final, they won 2-1 against PSG. When you get the end of it, we were one up by the red side of Milan once again. As we lifted the Italian double, they became champions of Europe. And if you've not seen the rebuild, that is just down below. Go ahead and enjoy that one and show how we won 12 trophies in just five years.